We're in Dallas with Lori Cosby. Welcome. Thank you, Gina. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Uh, you've been a longtime Private Lessons member, so this, this is so nice to see you again. I, sh I should say that we've met very briefly in Nashville this past summer. Right. Uh, you had a function, you were uh, speaking, a uh, speaking engagement. Um, so you're a singer. Tell me a little bit about, just uh, in a nutshell, your background. Okay. Well, I'm a soprano. Um, I have a master's degree in vocal performance with a classical, pretty much a classical focus and a certification in commercial music, which includes all styles. And I've done a lot of musical theater, which has utilized the all styles training, because of course in musical theater, you have all, all styles. Mm -hmm. And um, how, do you, how do you get a certification like that? Well, there's several different um, vocal pedagogues, if you will, who have come out with various methods that you can be certified in. People like Liz Howard with Vocal Power. California, right? Right, yeah. LA. Mm -hmm. And that's who I got my... She actually comes to Philadelphia once in a while yeah. to speak at symposiums. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's, she's terrific. Mm -hmm. And I got my certification with hers. Hers is actually not um, just commercial music. It actually includes an all-inclusive method that includes classical music as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a Jeanette Levetri who has a commercial certification. So you can you can find these people. Who now, how uh, in in your practical application uh, on a daily basis, how do you find that helping the student? Well. Um, a, cl a purely classical training and methodology does not completely serve the commercial voice student, the student that comes in and they need to belt for musical theater, for instance, and they have a role in which they have to have that kind of production. Or the country music singer who, you know, it's, it's all about vocal production. So learning the different techniques and, and the different uh, methodology, you know, prepa helps prepare them for these different types of productions. You're a performer yourself. Mm -hmm. So, and, and do you have have engagements when you, where you cross over and, and yes as a matter of fact I, I work at Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary in Fort Worth they just started a new jazz studies program and I'll be singing a jazz concert next week in fantastic fact. so then that's entirely different and you're classically classical. trained right? yes uh -huh. and you're a coloratura also yeah that is remarkable <laughs> that is remarkable and you mentioned uh, Fort Worth this is the area uh, where you teach, right? right? This is where you live and, and yes. teach. So most of your students come from, from that area. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, you know, one more subject that I wanted to touch just a little bit on, and, um, and that is working with teenagers. You know, little boys, you know, there's, have these little high voices, and one morning they wake up and they sound like <laughs> a man with a deep voice. Right. So um, just some of your thoughts on is it uh, worth pursuing lessons during that period when their voices change or is there a way to work that it's effective? Yeah, I think it's real effective to keep them in training. Uh, a lot of times it'll help smooth the transition from being a more soprano voice to having a full-grown male voice and having that vocal instruction during that time is, I think, a really good thing. And it encourages them to keep singing because a lot of them can get really discouraged with their right. voice changes. Sure. Um, a lot of these boys are singing with boys' choirs. And they, you know, they kind of like that voice, and all of a sudden they've got this big old voice box now, <laughs> and they sound totally different, and they're not the little little moms patting them on the back anymore. So, so how about the girls uh, that age? Uh, is there, or that age, or at any age, is there a significant change in a voice? Is there stressful? The, is there's, stressful? Um, there's always changes when we, you know, have growth during that adolescent period. For a female, it's not as dry. Drastic, um, um, but they do right, have, you know, right. just some maturity issues that are that are different, um, you know. But they're much more minor. Well, this is terrific. I, I'm so glad that we had a chance to speak now, and thank you so much for coming out. Again, I said we're in Dallas. This is a huge area, wonderful, a lot of music. It is. And uh, I wish you a lot of success. Okay, thank you, Gana. I appreciate it.